the major limiting factor for photosynthesis for a small plant growing in a dense rain forest is if the forest is varied then for small plants which are growing they will be overshadowed by the large trees and they won't get the sufficient light so the light will be the major limiting factor for them so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 112 which of the following plants respond to higher temperatures and show a higher rate of photosynthesis in this particular question we'll talk about the c3 plants and the c4 plants C4 plants are adapted to the higher temperatures and they respond to high temperatures as well and hence they show the high rate of photosynthesis so you have to find out the C4 plants out of the following maize is a C4 plant sorghum is a C4 plant tomato and bell pepper they are C3 plants so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question Question number one hundred and thirteen. Most abundant enzyme in the world. What is the most abundant enzyme in the world? It is Rubisco. Rubisco is the most abundant enzyme in the world. So, what is true about the Rubisco? It functions only as carboxylase during photorespiration. No, during photorespiration, it acts as oxygenase, not as carboxylase. So, this is wrong. it can bind co2 only no it can bind 2o2 hence it can perform photorespiration if this is the only enzyme which is responsible for photorespiration second it can bind to both co2 and o2 yes this enzyme can bind to both co2 and o2 because this shows affinity for both co2 as well as o2 this is correct first has much greater affinity for o2 than co2 when co2 o2 ratio is nearly equal no when the co2 and the o2 ratio is nearly equal it has much greater affinity for co2 than for o2 so this is also incorrect so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 114 a plant has crans anatomy in its leaves means the plant is c4 plant numbers of atp and nadph molecules required to form one molecule of glucose by this plant will be respectively this plant is a c4 plant because c4 plants have crans anatomy in their leaves now to form one molecule of glucose how many atp and nadph are required for fixation of one co2 molecule the number of atp molecules required are 5 and nadph molecules are 2 so you have to fix 6 co2 molecules to form a glucose then 5 into 6 30 atp molecules and 2 uh, into 6 12 nadph molecules so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and fifteen. Match the following columns and select the correct option. In the column one, molecules are given. In the column two, number of carbon atoms per molecule are given. Phospho glycolate. It's a two carbon molecule. So A matches with second option number two and three are ruled out. Now. aspartic acid it's an organic acid it has four carbon molecules so b matches with fourth so b matches with fourth in both the options now phosphoenol pyruvate or pep it's a three carbon molecule so c matches with third so c matches with third in only fourth option so option number 1 is also ruled out and the remaining is d which matches with first ribulose bisphosphate is a five carbon molecule so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question 